Hello, I have been amazed at how many people are checking out my uh, my Tinkercad tutorial. So I'm going to make one on the ruler and then stick around. Maybe I'll, I'll be posting some more um, in the future and I'll add them to this playlist. So check it out. All right, to start off, please go to Tinkercad.com, log in, click on learn. If you haven't done the starter lessons, check out my starter tutorials. And then you click on lessons. Make sure you're on the 3D dropdown. I do have videos on circuits, probably in the future some code blocks. So click 3D, make sure you uh, you go through those starters so you know what I'm doing. I will not be walking through the basics. Please watch those videos. Click on lessons. I have one on Minecraft party glasses. You can actually send these to a 3D printer, any of these, and you can print them. So you could even wear these, uh, you know, fake Minecraft glasses if you want. I went through chess pawn and now we're on the ruler. Now that sounds boring, but it's going to teach you the skills you need to make really cool stuff. So let's get started. So I will click restart so it looks exactly like yours. It says in this lesson you will learn to make a centimeter ruler. So we just click here and it will begin. All right, here's our work plane. This is uh, where we pull all our stuff out of. It says, well, it's fun to create things at any size at any size you wish. Sometimes you need to measure an exact distance. In this lesson, you will learn to create an accurate ruler that measures centimeters. The cool thing is if you create this correctly and you actually printed it, it would actually be actually, it would be like centimeters. It, it measures exactly the same. So let's start with adjusting the snap grid in the lower right corner of the editor. Change it from one, is that one? Yeah, one. Yeah, 1.0 millimeter to 0.25 millimeter. So we go to edit, oops, right here. This is nice and short, 0.25 millimeter. Nothing changes, but that did change. Makes a difference in the model. Drag a box shape to the work plane. It shows you where to do it. Scale it smaller to a height of two millimeters. So I'm going to grab my box, put it generally around there. I want it to be at a height of two millimeters. If you don't know how I'm moving around, please watch that starter video. I'm gonna click here. And since this is, if we look in edit grid, let me click off that, We uh, it is in millimeters. So when we answer these numbers, it is in millimeters and they want a height of two. So we hit do two, enter, and then scale it smaller to a size of 60 by 20, 60 by 20. Okay, so then we're going to click here. I want it 20 tall, which we have, and I want it 60 wide. So I press 60, enter. And then I don't think it matters, but I'm going to put it exactly as close to as exact as possible on there. Then we click next. Drag a cylinder shape to the work plane. So I'll grab my, my cylinder. Scale it smaller to a diameter of two. So we just click here. A diameter. This would have to be two and that would have to be two. So we press enter. I use tab to get between the boxes. And then uh, a height of 60. So I'm going to click here and type 60. Now we got the height. I don't think it matters exactly where it is, but I'll try to try to match it up a little bit. If we remember the, the chest pawn looked a little strange in some of these, so matching them up is good. Rotate the cylinder and move it down to the work plane. Copy and paste the cylinder, move each of the area marked in orange. I don't know what they want us to do here. I'd imagine they're saying uh, they want it rotated that way. So I'm gonna change my view. So I'm right clicking, I'm changing my view to look at this way. Then I, I have this selected, I can click this. And then I look at my number, this number right up here, and I want it at 90 degrees, right? So it's perfectly in line. Don't eyeball this, this has to be exact, okay? Then move it down to the work plane. So we can click this little arrow and move it down. It shows us our height and I want it on it exactly. So it is down on the work plane now. If we look, it's actually it is not sticking above because it has the same height. Copy and paste the cylinder and move each to the area marked in orange. Perhaps I'm missing. Oh, they want it on the end edges. So now we need to rotate it again. 90 degrees. All right. We're going to move it right there. I didn't see that. Sorry about that. Then we can copy and paste it. You can either uh, duplicate and repeat. I believe that one works. Or you could say copy, control C. I prefer that one because I'm used to it. And control V to paste it and then move it right into to place. If you want to see if it's more, you know, if it's perfectly in place, you can zoom in. If 
for this video. I won't waste your time having it exactly where it's supposed to be because I'm sure you don't want to watch that. All right, next, draw a roof shape. Drag a roof shape to the work plane. So I'm going to look, here's my roof. I'm going to drag it in there. Now you'll notice that's huge. We need to obviously scale it. Scale it uh, smaller to a height of two millimeters. So we click here, say two millimeters, hit enter, and then uh, one by 20. So I know it's longer. So this should obviously be the 20. And then change this to one. Now it's nice and skinny. I'm going to drag it there so we sort of match what's going on. Click next. Copy and paste the roof shape. Scale it smaller to a size of one by six. All right, so remember, we're not changing this one. We're copying and pasting the work shape. You move it out. They want it one by six. So I'd imagine they want the same height. Let's look. Yep, so let's go, we'll click here. You want it one by six. And now rotate and move it to the area highlighted. You'll notice it needs to be flipped over. So the easiest way to do that is look from this view, click on it, rotate it. Oops, we, I'm pressing Control V because I made a mistake on that. We want to rotate it. Let's see if I can do that again. Move my views off. Zoom in better using my center mouse button to move around. I click on it and let's see if we can rotate it now. All right, we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. Maybe you got that to work closer. You didn't have to do what I did. And then I'm going to drag it, generally, <laughs> generally to where it goes. Now, I, I'm gonna have to change my view and all that stuff, but uh, we'll move it right there. And obviously it does need to move down. It looks like it needs to move down a lot. Uh, it needs to move over and I won't waste your time watching me get it in the perfect spot unless I get lucky. So we'll just leave it there for now. Maybe yours look better. Maybe you're better at that. Um, if I change my view a lot, I can definitely get it. Click next, copy and paste the shape, scale it to a smaller size of one by three, and then we need seven of them. So we're going to copy and paste. That's always the first step. So copy paste. Now we have two of those. I'm going to move it away so I don't mess up that. They want it one by three. If we want to see exactly what they're talking about, it's about it is half the, the length. So I'm going to, it's one by three. And then they want copy and paste seven more. So I'm going to press control C, control V. And I, I think they want, let's see, one, two. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They want eight total. So I can just put this right here. It's not going to be perfect. That's okay. One, copy, paste. Move it over. I'm going to use my arrows. Copy, paste. Move it over. Use my arrows. Copy, paste. Use my arrows. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Now, I don't think it actually matters if you're getting it in those orange boxes or not. Mine aren't perfect. I don't think it matters, but it does matter that you're making them the right size and you have enough of them. Copy and paste the roof shapes as needed to fill in the remaining areas in orange. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna make it easier, okay? We don't have to copy and paste everything. And I sort of wasted my time doing that. If I click and I hold Control down, hold Shift. Yeah, if I hold Shift, I can click. Now I could have clicked and dragged, but knowing Shift works that way is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually make this really easy, and you'll see why in a moment. I hope you understand why. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first change my view. I am going to not copy that end one. You'll see why. Copy paste. Move it all over. I'm just holding the arrow button. Awesome. Now, now we can copy and paste these. So I'm going to click and drag. Anything in my box is going to be highlighted. Copy paste. Move them over. All right. Copy paste. And I could, I could copy and paste, you know, bigger sections of this, so I don't have to do this so many times also. But, I don't know. Makes me happy doing it this way. And then I just need to copy and paste inside of here. Maybe you maybe you did it in a different order, uh, where you wouldn't have to do this on the ends. Perfect! So I got them all. Now I click next. Now everything is, uh, is, ah, uh, the... <laughs> 
Is that the proper scale? Maybe at. Uh, select all the roof shapes and move them to the area marked in orange. So it does look like you actually do need those uh, lined up perfectly with those orange boxes. I think mine are close enough. Uh, so select all the roof shapes and move them to the area marked in orange. So it, it did need to be exact. Maybe you'll have to go back and align those. Uh, for my purposes, I'm fine. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag and hopefully they align and you will see uh, they need to come up. I don't know why they did that to us, but let's have them come up a little bit. And then I want it to move down. I'm using my down arrow and I think that is a very nice alignment. Few of those are off. So just make sure you actually align them and yours will, yours will turn out better. All right, moving forward, drag the number shapes, one, two, three, four, and five to the work plane. So I'm going to uh, find the number shapes. I would I don't know if they're actual numbers. I might have to actually do text. Drag the number shapes, one, two, three, four. So if I click here, maybe there are numbers. There we go, text and numbers. And they want me to drag those numbers in. I'll click two to scroll over. If you're not seeing the full screen, go up, uh, go up here and press minus. You may not be able to see all that. So uh, if, if you're not seeing everything, please make sure you zoom out. They want one, two, three, four, and five. So I'll grab one. There's one. <laughs> Maybe it has to be exact. So now that it, now I'm a little freaked out. So I want to want to line them up perfectly. Here's two. Here's three. And maybe that wasn't perfect, but it's pretty close. Here's four and five. Perfect. Click next. Select all the number shapes and scale them smaller. So it doesn't say how what size they want them, but this is a cool little thing. Press and hold the shift button, and this works in like in photo editing software as well. I'm going to click shift. Now I highlighted them all. I drew a box over them. Okay. I don't want to draw a box over the whole thing, right? Just over them. Hold shift. And then we can just drag the corner until they're the right size. Now for this one, we might have to zoom in. I'd imagine we have to zoom in. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So shift, drag it. If you want the, the dimensions on the total uh, thing it was 23.42 by 4.48. Trying to get it exact, that looks pretty close. Move the numbers to the marked locations. So now we're going to move them individually. Oops, I'm going to deselect everything. Now I will move it. Now you'll notice they have to move up. And actually, what I want to do, because I don't want to lose them in there, I'm going to move them up right now. I'm going to move them to the general height just so I know or maybe even a little bit higher okay so yeah I'll move them higher and then we can move them down once we have them in the right place so I'll look straight above it move it to about where it should go do that with every single one of them I don't know why we didn't drag it so they had the spacing correct the first time but that's okay I would have made that part of the tutorial then I can zoom in I can change that looks wonderful and then all I need to do, let me change my view, use my little triangle thing to get it lined up. All right, and do the same for the rest. I'm using my center mouse button to move over. If you didn't move them up, what I was worried was that you would run into a situation where you sort of lost them. Uh, I would imagine it would be sort of easy to lose it in the red, sort of like I lost some of those green ones because I didn't align them perfectly. So I would, uh, you know, I hope you made them higher. If you made a mistake, you can always hit back. This one needs to be lined up a little bit better, then I'll bring it down. Perfect. All right. I know those heights aren't all perfect, but for the video, I think that'll do. Click next. Congratulations, you made it. Feel free to make your ruler longer if needed. Um, the easiest way to make this ruler longer that I would do, um, I would actually, to make it you know, look right, I would move those out of there. And then all I would do, I would copy this entire thing. Okay, copy it. Let me change my view so hopefully it shows it next to it. Paste it. Ah, 
Okay, so this one I will need to rotate. I can rotate it 90 degrees, right? And then just press the over button. And once you see it, once we line up those perfectly, now we could, well, I won't get into that, but uh, once those are lined up, now we have a ruler. Now, obviously uh, we would need to add, you know, one of these things there and we would have to make this longer. So, you know, I could click on here and, and say, hey, I want it to be 120, right? And then that would be the, the edge. But cool. Well, I hope that helped. I hope, uh, I don't know if that was for an assignment. I hope you were able to do it. And I think I'll do the next tutorial next. So see you soon. Thanks for checking out STEM with Mr. Duda. Please like this video and subscribe. You can also set the bell to notify you when I make new videos. Uh, that really motivates me to continue posting these things online and, uh, and gets you content that you're interested in. A lot of times I will link a playlist. Maybe one just showed up here. Uh, I might also link a video. Uh, it might show up uh, right about here. And uh, sometimes YouTube decides what video is best for you, but sometimes I assign one. So thank you so much for checking me out and have a great day, everybody.